Hello, Orlando Silis from Advanced Quantitative Reasoning, and we're going to be taking a look at something called weighted graphs. Now, a weighted graph is basically a graph that has edges and nodes. These are both nodes right here. This is an edge, and that's a weight. That means it takes time to get through this point, to get through this line right here. It's like treacherous terrain or really hard to clean terrain or something like that. Well, I'd say it's treacherous or whatever, or minutes to walk that or, or distance, whatever you want to say. Now, right here, this is snowplow operators in this example, and I really don't like this because it has it in hours. Now, we live in an area that doesn't have much snow, so I have no idea how accurate this is. I don't know how long it takes to go ahead and go through roads and clean them or anything like that. So, but we're going to be calculating the most efficient time to go through this graph, so that way you can go ahead and calculate that. Now, this is asking us to construct the, uh, to go ahead and uh, construct two snowplow routes uh, through each of the following cities and indicate the time that it will go ahead and travel each route and do all that. So it wants us to go ahead and calculate this route. Now, you can go A to B to C back to A and because all we're doing is cleaning and it doesn't matter how many times we go back but we want to go back as little as possible because we don't want to pay these guys overtime quite frankly this is really really tough work but we don't want to go ahead and and uh, pay these guys to uh, more than they deserve well they do good work but all that stuff but you can see how this is form fitting so it's A B C D and then it's back to A and now we have to the only way we can go is B uh, let's go down to uh, C again, and then go to E, and then go back to B, then we go back to D, and uh, go back to E, just to go ahead and clean that street, and go back to F, and then we go back to D. They're all clean, but, you know, where's the Home Depot? We need to get to back to the Home Depot. So sometimes we have to go back to where we started. So it's going to be, so if we started with an A, we're going to have to go back to there. We have to go back through B and then back to A. And this is a long route. And so we'd be calculating that. We'd be counting, all right, what's the, what's the time between this one? Three, and then uh, let's see, this right here would be six. And then we went back to A, so that's six. And then right here, well, you, you get the point. And then you add up all well, up. I don't like doing that. This is very inefficient. So first things first. This is going to give me a really big amount of time. I don't want to do that. I want to make this as efficient as possible. So we're going to go ahead and modify this so we can go ahead and do this efficiently. So first off, we have to determine if this is an Euler circuit or path. Now, just looking at this, this has a degree of 2. This has a degree of 3. This one has a degree of 4. This has a degree of 4, this has a degree of 3, and this has a degree of 2. Uh, ways to determine if this is an Euler path or circuit, uh, you can go ahead and just take a look at the numbers. See right here, this one's odd, and this one's odd. And those are the only two odd nodes. So if you see two odd nodes, this is an Euler path. So we're going to go ahead and say, well, since this is an Euler path, there's no circuit to this. But we're going to go ahead and modify this to go ahead and do a circuit. So right now, the time it takes to, the time it takes to get from this point to this point is a total of all these right here. So right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the uh, all the weights. I'm not going to even look at this right here. I don't need to worry about that. So we have 3, 6, 7, uh, 2, 3, 3. Uh, and then uh, let's see, six, three, four. So I just wrote them all down. Let me just make sure. Three, six, seven, uh, two, three, three, six, three, four. So all of them are done. I'm going to add them all together. So this is an Euler path. So we can go ahead and tra traverse this whole thing and end up at, from one point to the other. So this makes up the other path. So 3 plus 6 plus 7 plus 2 plus 3 plus 3 plus 6 plus 3 plus 4. So that's 37 hours just to do this right here. Let me make sure. 3 plus 6 plus... Because sometimes I, I skip numbers. 3, 4, let's see. Yeah, yeah. 37 hours. Now...
the way you're going to do this right here, we're going to have to do a backtrack. That's, that's a given. We have to backtrack. This is how you determine your backtrack. We look at from the, the paths from C to D, since these are the two odd nodes. So first you get your odd nodes and determine the shortest path between those. Now it doesn't matter where we go. We can take C, A, B, D, or we can take a few others. So these are the one paths that I noticed first off. Okay, so we can go from C to B, that's 7. And then B to D, that's, uh, that's going to be uh, 9. So here's the path that I have, C, B, D, which has a total of 9. Okay, so now we're going to do one more. We're going to do two more, actually. So, okay, we got C, E, D. So C, E, D. That right here is 9 also. So these it's a tie between those two so far. Then we have C, E, B, D. So C, E, B, D. Why is, why, uh, I don't know, let's see, let, let's see what, there, what, are we gonna, what do we got right here. So let's see, this is 3, this is also 3, and then 2. So that's a total of 8. This is the shortest path. We don't know the reasons why this would be the shortest path, but it's a little bit out of the way. It could be that this is a straight stretch or the terrain is really easy to travel. We don't know. It may have less traffic. It may have a whole bunch of stuff, but you don't know this. But you know what? This is how it was determined. So this is the shortest path. So once you determine the shortest path, we do this. We take the path. And we're saying, all right, once we go over here, we have to go back. So we're going to go ahead and draw another line. And we're also going to put its weight, which is 3. Then right here, this is where we're going to have a double back also. Because along this path, we're going to double it back. So it's like going, mm, 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 and then going, mm, 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 right back. So right here, we're going to put another line to go ahead and state that we're going back along this line. We're going to have to travel this one, uh, this one at least twice. And then right here, we're going to have to travel this one twice. So now we just add 8 to the 37. So now it's 45 hours. And that's how you make this more efficiently. This is just practice and looking for paths and finding them at first, but then we have these instructions on how to construct the shortest path. So this is where the instructions are. So number three de determines this. You're going to copy this into your notes. Make sure you have that. And uh, that's about it. Well, thank you very much. I'll talk to you guys later.